I will not be doing anything creative in this film. This is more about why knowing just a couple of knots has made my life so much easier in some stressful situations. So if you're not interested in improving quality of life, skip this one, go watch my other films, or just wait for next week's episode. Whenever I need to transport my work for whatever reason, I wrap my paintings in old sheets or curtains, and I always use a sturdy dolly to do so. And this is what I used to do. I mindlessly wrap my ropes around my paintings and make like 10 to 20 of these small knots. It doesn't look good, it's such a mess, and the knots never held up. So I did some research on knots, picked a couple of favorites, and they haven't let me down so far. The square knot is probably the one you're the most familiar with. Because that's one element that's used when tying your shoes, which is called a slipped square knot. A square knot goes like this. Left over right, wrap around, and right over left, wrap around. And it should look like a figure eight. Not like this. This is called a granny knot, and it's more likely to slip. The bowline is always the first knot I need whenever I need to tie down something. So listen closely. Short end, long end. Short end goes on top of the loop, then underneath, underneath, and back home. And it opens up by just pulling this part down. I believe this one is called a butterfly knot. You go one, two, three, then under, over, you pull through, you switch fingers and pull everything over it. Now you got a quick loop in the middle of your rope. Then with the butterfly knot, you could tie a trucker's hitch. So around a ring or something similar, and then once and twice, this is your checkpoint. This will hold your progress. You tighten and then put two half knots in there. This knot was a life changer for me. And it took me quite some time to find this one. I was looking for a knot that sort of works like a zip tie. So you tighten once and it'll hold up. First you tie a clove hitch. So one, under, over, and then under the bridge. It should look like this. Then you go over the other one and underneath. This is called a constrictor knot. You tighten once, and it'll hold on. Practice these knots once a day, and you'll remember them in no time for the rest of your life. Now let me get back to me transporting my paintings. So look closely. Bowline, wrap around, butterfly, through the bowline, and trucker's hitch. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, thank you.